Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Heather Locklear. I have always liked Heather Locklear, and it's not just based on looks. She's actually a good actress. People may know her more for her dramatic roles, but I think she's even better at comedy. When it comes to the funny, Heather really nails it. She was consistently popular from about 1981 to 2002. Since then, Heather has still worked, but not as much. Unfortunately, she has had some personal problems, some of them very serious. I won't get into any of that because it's not really necessary and it doesn't change the fact that she gives very good performances. Heather started acting in small parts on television in 1980. As early as 1981, she got her first major role on the nighttime soap opera Dynasty. This lasted for 127 episodes through 1989. She played Sammy Jo Carrington, the niece of the series heroine Crystal Carrington, played by Linda Evans. During this time, Heather was a main cast member of the cop show T.J. Hooker as Officer Stacy Sheridan. This was from 1982 to 86. Having a main role on two high-profile TV shows is a very good thing for any actress's career, and Heather Locklear was one of the most visible actresses of the 1980s decade. There was another blonde Heather who had become popular around the same time. Heather Thomas was the leading lady on the action show The Fall Guy. I'm also a big Heather Thomas fan. At the time, everyone talked about the two Heathers, and it was cool to see them together on TV or at a public event. They made guest appearances on each other's series. Heather Locklear continued to work steadily on television, but also ventured into films. Her first film was Firestarter in 1984, a horror movie from the mind of Stephen King. Heather gets killed early on, but her character is important to the story nonetheless. The movie did okay, but wasn't a smash hit. It has become better liked over the years. Her next movie was The Return of the Swamp Thing in 1989. It was a superhero movie based on the DC Comics character and a sequel to the first Swamp Thing movie from 1982. Where the first movie was played straight, this sequel is really a farce. To say this film had a lighter tone than the original is putting it light. This sequel was a bomb, and it's taken years for audiences to really accept this movie. Even at that, it has never been as well liked as the original. The shame of it all is that Heather herself was actually good at what she was doing. She just needed a better movie. TV would always be Heather's main medium, however, and after some hits and misses, she found super success again on the nighttime soap opera Melrose Place. The series had a very different tone in its first season, and was quite a bit friendlier. Heather Locklear's character of Amanda Woodward was just recurring at this time. The show was retooled starting with the second season, and Amanda Woodward became the central character. Heather got to show off her evil side for all seven seasons of the show from 1992 to 99. The character of Amanda Woodward in the Melrose Place show itself was quite serious. It's ironic then, at this time she was doing a lot more comedy elsewhere. In 1994, she was the guest host on Saturday Night Live. I remember this episode and she was quite funny in it. She seemed to be connected to Mike Myers more than anyone else on that episode. Heather played an elderly Jewish woman in the Coffee Talk sketch opposite of Mike Myers as Linda Richmond. She was in a Wayne's World skit, again with Mike Myers, where she played her Melrose Place character in a dream sequence. Heather had previously been in a cameo in the movie Wayne's World 2 a year earlier. Also significant is the fact that Heather's name was dropped a number of times in earlier Wayne's World skits as one of their ideal dream women. The funniest skit from that episode, I think, is the one where Heather and Mike Myers were doing an infomercial and Heather's character kept saying the wildest, most politically incorrect things, making Mike's character increasingly nervous and the audience agitated. I found it amazing that she could keep those ethnic slurs coming out like a fountain and that she could do it all with a straight face. You would never expect to hear such things from someone so cutesy. 
When Heather did an episode of Muppets Tonight in 1997, she spoofed her Melrose Place persona again. Also that year, she had a major supporting role in the action comedy film Money Talks starring Charlie Sheen and Chris Tucker. Someone must have liked the pairing of Heather Locklear and Charlie Sheen in this movie, because they would later work together on the hit sitcom Spin City. She worked with Charlie Sheen again in an episode of Two and a Half Men, just two years after Spin City was cancelled. That same year, she landed a main role in the drama series LAX, but that lasted just 13 episodes. Heather has worked since then, but nothing majorly successful. She was brought back for the series revival of Melrose Place in 2009. The new series only lasted 18 episodes, and Heather was only in 8 of them. The problem may have come from the fact that she didn't start appearing until the 10th episode, when the ratings were really in a slump. Had she come in earlier, who knows? Really though, I think comedy is a better fit for her, and she needs to do more of it. She has those big eyes, and she can really master that dopey, deadpan expression. Heather's done a handful of theatrical films and a number of TV appearances that allowed her to show off her funniness and I think she should be known more for those roles than anything else. Heather has been married to a couple of rock stars that you wouldn't really expect her to have ever been with. The first was Tommy Lee, Motley Crue's drummer from 1986 to 93. Then it was Richie Sambora, guitarist for Bon Jovi from 1994 to 2006. She had a daughter with Richie in 1997. I'm rooting for Heather Locklear and hope she makes a big comeback. She can handle a main role in a comedy series very easy. Her talent goes beyond playing bombshells or evil women. I do think she could play just about any role she sets her mind to. I happily proclaim Heather as Babe of the Day, Babe of the Day.